Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video, actor dumps television for music. Actor Limohang Tsipa is taking a break from acting. Now Limohang is on Blood Psalms and he will also be on the remake movie Shaga Ilembe. Now Limohang has decided to end the year by taking a break from doing what he's been doing since he was 11 years old. Now speaking to the papers, the now 31 year old actor said that he realized during lockdown while playing around with music that he needed to go back and do what he has been passionate about before he even became an actor. So yeah, according to him, he was passionate about music way before he got into acting. Now he is quoted as saying, I was a musician before I decided to become an actor. So this change is just me going back to my roots. I have always loved making music at 11 years old, I was a drummer at church and I still am even now. But me focusing on music doesn't mean I'm quitting acting. I am trying to be versatile. I will be focusing on getting my music career there and then I'll be able to do both music and acting. So yeah, as you heard over there, he's saying that he is not giving up or quitting acting. He just wants to kind of focus on his music career and push it. And once it's at a level where I suppose it can sustain itself and it's sustainable, he will go back to acting and, you know, do the two of them at the same time. Now, apart from that, Lee Mohang also shared that he is compiling an EP and is working with different artists. Now, he mentioned that he is not restricting himself to one genre as he has played around with different sounds. Look, when I hear that, all that comes to my mind is I'm a piano. But I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what genre do you think will he be making music in? But moving swiftly along, he goes on to say, I have been working on my EP, but all the info will be released when I launch it. But trust me, it's amazing. The people I am working with are amazing. Go, 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 the piano. That's what I hear for personally. I mean, like I said, do get in the comment section down below. But yeah, lastly, Li Mohang mentioned that he is excited about this journey and can't wait for his music to be heard. Look, I will put up my hands and say I'm a huge fan of Lim Hang as an actor. I recently saw him on Amandla. It was definitely great on that. He also had a little bit of a cameo on a movie called The Dark Tower. But yeah, apart from those two that I have mentioned, he's got a whole catalog of movies that he has appeared on. And I suppose going forward, he will also have a catalog of music. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, DJ Shaw focuses on winning Ukozi FM Song of the Year again. DJ Shaw has proven yet again that she is not shaken by the negative comments that she has been getting since she won the Ukozi FM 2021 Song of the Year for Isban. And I will say this, it seems like people are sleeping on DJ Shaw yet again this year. She might pull the rug from underneath all of us yet again this year. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, DJ Shaw seems to be taking this year's Ukozi FM 2022 Song of the Year competition seriously. DJ Shaw was actually running a competition where she asked music fans to vote for her new song, Visa, to secure a place in the Ukozi FM Top 10. Now, the competition that she ran the winner is gonna be in her music video so you know there was an incentive for fans to come through and vote for dj Shaw. and at the end of the day you know sometimes just having an artist tell you to vote in J, you're using your data there's no compensation or particular prize at the end of it all except for the artists themselves this is a very good strategy from dj Shaw over there and i suppose for those fans of dj Shaw who would you know maybe desire a praying on her music video this is added in to vote for her so yeah she wrote the following on her social media win big with dj Shaw sms ingoma dj Shaw visa to the number 33665 as many times as you can and stand a chance to be on dj Shaw's music video alongside lady do mfanaga koko tree q and other stars that is what i call priceless 
Now, unfortunately, for those that do want to SMS, apparently DJ Slow's competition actually ended in November. But needless to say, I'm sure that a lot of people actually voted in hopes of appearing on that music video. Now, apart from that, DJ Slow actually explained about the competition and she said that it is not bribing music fans into voting for her, but her aim is to give back to her supporters. That's basically what I said a little bit earlier. This is what she is quoted as saying, I don't want them to vote for me and get nothing. I don't want anyone to take this in a negative way. I am running this competition to show appreciation to my fans. And of course, win the song of the year yet again and blindside everybody. So before I go any further, I want to say, has any of you actually heard DJ Shaw's song, Visa? Personally, I have not heard it. I am definitely going to listen to it after this video. But uh, I mean, if you have, do get in the comment section down below and let us know, is it a banger? And does it deserve the song of the year for this year? But moving right along, DJ Shaw also went on to say that she knows that people will vote for her because they have heard her song. She goes on to say, not everyone who talks negatively about me hates me. You know, those people love me so much. They talk about me because of the love they have for me. I know they will vote for me and they will get something in return. I love the confidence over there. Me personally, I will say this, if I was the Ukozi FM song of the year voting type, I would definitely vote for DJ Shaw just to confuse the enemy. But yeah, do get in the comment section down below and let me know, do you guys see DJ Shaw winning the song of the year again this year? Our next topic, Unatin Kai, opens up about losing everything due to a one-sided story. Unatin Kai got candid with her followers on social media about how she has been using therapy and exercise to overcome the mental health challenges she faced after, I quote, losing it all. Now, the media personality was fired from Kaya 95.9 radio station in November of 2021 after she had a dispute with Caesar Law for accusing him of verbal abuse and unprofessional conduct. And if that was not all, the revamping of the judging panel for season 18 of Idol's essay in 2022 saw her being axed after being on the show for 10 seasons. Now, I do know that there were some reports, speculations that uh, somehow Somizi had a hand in that. I mean, I don't know. None of that was confirmed nor denied, to be honest with you. But nonetheless, Somizi, who had taken a break from Idols due to personal reasons with Mohali, I suppose, uh, ended up returning to Idols and Unati got the sack. But recently, Unati has taken to social media and recalled her journey to healing, speaking on how therapy was the hardest for her and how she nearly had to be put on medication. So Unati posted a couple of pictures of herself on social media and captioned them, Therapy Tuesdays, I have been through, I have been through the most vigorous and painful year of therapy of my life because I lost everything due to a one-sided story that many were too keen to believe. In May, my therapist wanted to put me on meds, anxiety pills and tranquilizers because I had hit rock bottom. We decided against the meds but that meant I had to force myself to get into a routine which included exercise. And I will say, you know, when it comes to the exercise routine, Unati does look great. She's fitness goals. She's definitely fitness goals. But moving right along to show up for myself, my father said, be regular with your therapy and then sit back and watch them turn against each other. They will because there is no integrity among the three people who conspired against you in this matter. Three people, ne. Nah. Okay, I wonder who the third person is because I kind of have a rough clue as to the two. Some easy scissors, no more. <coughs> But yeah, moving right along. My therapy session today was cathartic to say the least. Gamak. Look, as a person who's never really gone through any depression or anxiety stuff, anything of that nature, I will say I've heard and seen many a times people saying that therapy does help and also just talking to people, it actually helps. So look, I can't take away from that. I'm not a doctor, nor have I actually experienced any of those things, like I said, but it's good to hear that all the therapy has come through and helped Unati at the end of the day. And like the saying goes, once you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. 
Our next topic, Musa Kaula gets dragged for copying Wendy Williams. Self-proclaimed Pope of pop culture, Musa Kaula has become notorious in the social media streets for digging up celebrity dirt and some would also say for spewing hate on his platforms. Look, for those that have followed Raid Live for quite some time will know that I am a huge fan or was a huge fan of Musa Kaula's Twitter captions. <laughs> Personally, they, they did sometimes have me rolling around laughing on the floor well not literally kind of same thing like when you write law it's not really you are laughing but you know inside you are but yeah needless to say his no filter comments have on certain occasions landed him in hot waters with high profile celebrities and look at the end of the day he seems like he's not willing to stop shaking up the entertainment industry which for me personally is a good thing now i will say that some of his fans can't get over his tell it like it is style and of course musa kawula has recently taken his tell it like it is style of commentating and coming through with celebrity news to a whole nother level and has started a youtube channel now i know i'm a little bit late when it comes to covering musa kaula on youtube because he's actually been there for quite some time now i will put up my hands for those that don't know i don't watch other south african entertainment or gossip channels the reason behind that is nothing sinister to be honest with you at the end of the day i feel like we are all doing the same thing or covering the same thing i don't want to be accused of copying heck i don't even watch international gossip channels what i do love to watch on youtube let me expose myself is obviously a manchester united podcast and also some try on holes oh i do love myself a cup of coffee and a good try on hole now that is neither here nor there but musa kaula is definitely on youtube and uh, i did try to go on his channel today and all his content has been removed i don't know what happened but yeah more on that i suppose later but getting back to the topic at hand yes musa kaula has moved from twitter to youtube but on twitter it seems like some have voiced out their dislikes for him now some twitter users have come through and dragged musa kaula for being mean and messy and heavily blasted him for being insensitive now others say that karma will deal with him like seasoned american broadcaster wendy williams who apparently has fallen out of grace so taking a look at some of those tweets one user wrote yo musa kaula says the meanest things about people he batong i'm always scared for him didn't he see how life dealt with wendy williams for being so mean to good people Look, you know me, I'm all 100% South Africa. So do get in the comment section down below and let me know how life dealt with Wendy Williams. And also, who is Wendy Williams? <laughs> Moving right along, another user wrote, Musa Kaula is evil. His hatred for Mishali is not normal. Yo, I'm so disgusted. The fact that he has a whole army of demons supporting his nonsense is beyond me. Eh, 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 Musa has an army of demons. Where is the god of Major One to bring fire upon him? Why am I talking in that voice? Another user wrote, Musa Kaula's tweets were something else, ne? but listening to him say all these things out loud, ka confidence is wild. Look, like I said, I did try to watch some of Musa Kaula's videos. Unfortunately, there are no videos on his channel at the moment of me making this video, apart from an introduction type of video, so ish. I wish I could have heard it. So I did go on Twitter, of course, and just checked some of the clips that they had on Twitter. And yeah, nah. So I found a couple of clips on YouTube. Let me play the first clip for you guys real quick. So we're also going to move on to Natasha Tahane and Tabang Mulaba, right? But then I don't know if you guys know that Natasha, is, her actual name is not Natasha. Her birth name is Noctula. Natasha is a name that she gave herself in the street and, you know, to appeal better or whatever. But her name is actually Noctula. Hi, Noctula. How you doing? <laughs> Wait, wait, Natasha is Noctula. <laughs> this is why people love Musa Kaula. <laughs> Here's another clip. So yeah, congratulations, baby, on your acting. You are good. Like, you are, like, literally fucking good. You know, Connie Ferguson and them, they can learn a thing from you. Actually, that bitch need to cast you. You must replace her at the Kings of Joburg because I know you would wear that role better. Connie Ferguson, sit back nestle them grandchildren or, or do something but get off the screen a little bit and give people who are actually talented a chance 
and I said what I said. Wait, wait a minute. Did Musa Kaula just refer to Cody Ferguson in the B word? I suppose that is the part where people kind of cringe and feel for him and feel that he's being mean and just saying things that are just out there. I agree with that. So getting back to the tweets, another user wrote, like you can judge me, but Musa Kaula is really entertaining and I hate myself for enjoying his low brown entertainment. But honestly, one can't be a militant black soldier every day. Light hearted ish is needed. I'm enjoying the gossip even though I don't know half these celebs, which I think I fall in this camp a little bit. I do enjoy Musa Kaula's uh, entertainment. I'm not really in there for the swearing and the calling people stuff and the, you know, it, it, I do enjoy it, but there's a point where I'm like, ah, this is too much. Another user wrote, I've never hit the fact that I love Musa Kaula. My boy is busy that side and I'm here for it. I make sure I don't skip the ads so he can get his coins. Hope you also don't skip ads here on Raid Live. <laughs> Another user wrote, Musa Kaula is cancelled even on YouTube. What he said about Connie Ferguson and her late husband was a bit too much. I don't know about the cancelled on YouTube, but I do agree with what she said about Connie Ferguson there on the clip we played earlier. Yeah, ne. Nah. Another user wrote, you guys pushed Musa Kaula out of Twitter and now he's thriving on YouTube. Next thing, we'll see him on our TV screens becoming a Wendy Williams. <laughs> The same Wendy Williams that apparently life dealt with her, I, I don't know people, but I will say this, I do hope that he does well here on YouTube. At the end of the day, for me personally, I'm not against any YouTuber. Because when I'm being honest, I'm just one man, I can only report on so much. We need a whole community, we, whole, we need a whole bunch of us South African YouTubers YouTubing about South African celebrities. Like I said, I am just one man, I cannot cover all the news. But those that do watch Red Live know that whatever I do cover, I cover extremely well. <laughs> but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what do you guys think about Musa Kaula's YouTube style YouTube videos, even though they have been removed for some reason. Hopefully by the time my video is out, he will be back on YouTube and we'll get more videos from him and all the best to him. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.